Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of the movies that I watched during the month of August, so stick around. So I've had a few requests of people wanting me to show more um, talking videos where I spend more time on camera instead of kind of just rushing through the video. Uh, mostly when I do my unboxings, I try to keep them short and sweet and to the point. I'm not a very big um, talker. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do this for the people that requested it. So I thought a good idea would be for me to show you what I've been watching during the month. Um, I have started watching at least a minimum of one movie a day since January 1st. So I thought that, that would be a good start for me to kind of tell what I've been watching. Maybe what I think about the particular movie that I watched. So um, if you want to follow along with me, I do have all of this logged on Letterboxd, which is linked down below. So first up, um, on August 1st, we were just coming off of the Criterion sale. I did watch Bringing Up Baby. So this right here is a black and white movie um, that I enjoyed watching. It's got Katherine Hepburn and Cary Grant in it. Um, definitely recommend you check this one out if you haven't seen it. Um, the next thing I watched on August 1st was 500 Days of Summer. I really enjoyed this movie. I had a lot of people suggest that I watch this one. So I finally took the time to open it up and watch it and really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good, um, different take on a romantic comedy. So I watched this one and then after I finished watching this one, I um, gave it to my wife to watch and she really enjoyed it also. Okay, on August the 2nd, which I may not keep up with the dates on this, so like I said, if you want to follow along on Letterboxd, you can see what date I actually watched these films. So on August 2nd, I did open up my um, Hammer Volume 1 Fear Warning Edition and watched all of the films that were included in this over the next few days. Um, first up, I watched Fanatic. Um, out of the box set, I think Fanatic was my favorite one out of all of them. Um, it was a little bit easier for me to follow along and enjoy. Um, really good acting and storyline in this one. So I definitely enjoyed Fanatic. Then I watched Maniac. Maniac was probably my second favorite of the series of films that were included. Um, don't really much. I don't really remember much about it other than there was a lot of... Um, Violence, I guess you would say. Um, the next film I watched was The Gorgon. I, the Gorgon, The Gorgon. Um, I really did not like this one as much as I thought I would. Um, but very glad to have that one in the collection still. And my least favorite was The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Um, I wasn't a big fan of this one. It just seemed really slow. Um, I was really hoping to see more of The Mummy in this one. The next thing I watched during the month was the documentary Val um, on Amazon Prime. I really enjoyed this documentary. Had some great um, clips featured that he had recorded during his lifetime. Um, it, it did have his son narrating a lot of the stories um, due to um, Val Kilmer's situation now with his health situation. But I really thought it was very well done. I really enjoyed the Val Kilmer um, films. And so I think, I think this documentary actually helped me to enjoy the films a little bit more, just knowing a little bit more of behind the scenes of what had happened during the film, filming of some of these. Now, the next film I watched was I Am Legend. Now, this right here was a first time watch for me. It had, I don't know what it was that kept me from watching this one all of this time, um, but I really enjoyed this story. It was a very um, uh, different I guess I had a different opinion about it before I watched it. It was a lot slower than I thought it was going to be. Um, but I think the visuals for that time um, and the story was really good. I really enjoyed um, watching Will Smith in that performance. So the next film I decided to watch was Sicario. I had done an unboxing of the Sicario still book and really enjoyed this story. Um, I think Emily Blunt did a great job with this. I enjoyed um, Josh Brolin's character. And I really just enjoyed the storyline. So very happy that, that I was able to watch that one. Now the next one that I watched was Snatch on 4K. Now this one, I really had high hopes for this one. Um, but I did not enjoy it as much as I thought I would. 
Um, I just couldn't get invested in the characters, I guess, and um, just did not like it. I mean, it was okay. It's not that I hated it, but it wasn't living up to my expectations. Okay, the next movie that I watched was Fear. Now, this was not a first time watch. I had seen this one many, many years ago, back when it was first um, released. But I think that Mark Wahlberg and Reese Witherspoon did a great job in this movie. Um, you could definitely get the sense of the stalking that was going on and the and the um, just the way that everything turned around. I mean, at the beginning, you would think it was all, they were just all lovey-dovey and um, really into each other. And then the way that it took a, a bad turn. Okay, the next movie really surprised me. And it was Horns, starring Daniel Ratcliffe. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a great plot. And I really enjoyed the um, the acting and the storyline. Um, on these little... Me telling you about what I watch. I'm not really going deep into the plots of these films. Um, but I definitely want you to know how much I enjoyed each one. If I enjoyed them or if I didn't. But Horns is a really good surprise. If you have not seen this one, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, I thought it was a really good um, storyline. Okay, the next film that I watch is The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. I want to say it correctly. Um, but I did get the new release. And so I finally opened up the older release. And really enjoyed this Dario Argento film. Um... Everybody was raving about this and some other of the films that were being released. And so I wanted to watch this one and I really enjoyed it. It was a great um, story. Okay, the next movie I watched was The Losers. I really enjoyed this action film, the way that it was um, filmed as far as the style that it was filmed in. Great storyline, a lot of violence, a lot of bloodshed. Um, so just a fun movie. Nothing fantastic, but very something very enjoyable to watch. Okay, the next film I opened up and watched was The Gallows. This right here is a horror type film, kind of a found footage film. Um, it was okay. It wasn't nothing spectacular. I have had it in the collection for a while. I do enjoy found footage films, so I thought this was a pretty good take on that. Um, a lot of this was filmed in dark in a dark setting so you know there were jump scares and different things that really brought out the film to make you kind of keep your attention um, the next film I watched was Jungle another Daniel Ratcliffe film I had heard a lot about this one I've had it in the collection since it was released but I had never taken time to watch it so I finally opened this one up and watched this one um, and very glad that I did it was a good performance, a good story. It was based on a true story. And if you have not seen that one, I would definitely recommend you check this one out. Okay, so after Jungle, we did go on vacation. Me and my wife went to um, Disney World for the week, um, for most of the week. And so, you know, I had told her that I was committed to watching a movie every single day. So I had to do that during the vacation time. So I thought, what, a better, what, what would be the best thing to do would be watch... To watch some Disney films. So I did watch The Lion King. Rewatched this one. This is probably one of my fav my top favorite animated films. So I watched The Lion King one day and then I watched um, Lion King one and a half during one of the days. And the next day I watched The Tigger movie which I enjoy. And I also watched Peter Pan. So those are the films that I watched while I was at Disney World. Um, of course, all of these are great movies. The Lion King being probably the top one. And of course, I really do enjoy the old um, animation. So Peter Pan was a great pick. So coming back from my Disney World trip, um, I decided to finally open up this film. It's called Escape from Tomorrow. Um, this right here was filmed Mostly in the Magic Kingdom, at Epcot, and some in Disneyland. Um, so it really piqued my interest to see how that they did this. 
And definitely, if you have this film and if you've checked it out, definitely check out the special features. It kind of goes more in depth about, about that. But I really enjoyed it. I mean, I say I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching it for the one time that I watched it. It is very low budget. I really didn't like the storyline. I didn't like the, um, for the most part, I just didn't like it. It was, but it was a good one time watch for me just to see what they filmed and how they did it. It was very bizarre. Um, if you haven't seen it, at least try to watch it one time, especially if you're a fan of Disney as I am. Um, definitely check that out. Okay, so the next thing that I watched was, um, I was still on vacation, so me and my wife went to the theater and we watched The Suicide Squad, which we really enjoyed. Um, you know, me and my wife, we do watch all the Marvel movies together and we watch all of the DC movies um, together. So we are caught up on all of those for the time being, other than this newest release that came out this month. But we went and saw The Suicide Squad. We really enjoyed it. It was a good... Um, it was it was a good fun movie to watch. Nothing spectacular. I did enjoy it though. I always enjoy those type of movies, so we were gl I'm very glad to um, be able to go see that one. Okay, the next movie that I watched was Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. I had purchased this while I was on vacation. Of course, during my vacation, I did have to go to Best Buy to pick up all the new releases, so I did pick this one up. Um, I watched this during vacation. It was it was okay. It definitely did not live up to the first one. Um, this one seemed a little bit dragged out and a little bit too long. Um, but I am glad to have this one in the collection. I think it's a good continuation of the first one, which I really enjoyed. So very happy to have that one in the collection. Okay, the next thing I watched was The Innkeepers. So I had heard mixed things about this one, and I really wanted to check it out for myself. As you can tell, I really like the artwork on this one. I thought it would be a little bit more than what it was. It did not live up to my expectations, um, but I watched it. It was okay. The next thing I watched was The Pale Door. Now, with the artwork on this one, I really was expecting much, much better. Um, it wasn't the greatest movie, in my opinion. It was mediocre. So it says, writer of Boba Hotep and Cold in July, which I both enjoyed. I enjoyed both of those films. But, yeah, it wasn't nothing spectacular. Okay, the next thing I watched was another Criterion release. I did watch um, Rashomon. Um, I had heard great things about this one. I really enjoyed this film. It is... A Japanese film very um, I don't know I, I'm not very good at describing movies but I'm very happy to have this one in the collection I really enjoyed this one okay the next thing I watched were the Jaws movies so of course Jaws is one of my all-time favorites and Zabby recently released the still books for the other three films so I did revisit Jaws 2 which I really enjoy to me, I think Jaws 2 is a great continuation from the first one. All of the same characters involved. Well, not all of them, but a lot of the same characters are still involved in the, in the film and the actors. So I'm very happy to have Jaws 2. I've always enjoyed this one. I also watched Jaws 3. Um, I do have a 3D TV, but I did not take the time to get all of that out to watch this one. This one is just okay to me. It's nothing spectacular. I do remember seeing this one in the theater in 3D. I really enjoyed it as a kid, but it definitely does not hold up today. Now, I was surprised about Jaws the Revenge. Now, I enjoyed Jaws the Revenge for what it was, for what it is. I saw this one in the theater also uh, when it was released. It was okay. I mean, I enjoyed it better this time around than I did the last time, I think, the original time that I watched it. Um, I do have problems with the way that the storyline goes as far as the family members, how it changed from the second one to the third one to this one. Um, but overall, it was an okay film, and I'm okay to have that one in the collection. So the next one that I watched, with all the hype of Candyman, I did revisit the Candyman um, film, which, of course, is great. 
It's a great horror film. Great story. It still holds up to this day. I haven't had the chance to watch the newest one. I've heard mixed reviews about that one, but it's definitely one that I want to see. Okay, the next movie that I watched is The Deer Hunter. Um, I watched the 4K release, um, Steelbook Edition. Um, I didn't want to pull it out, so I just went ahead and just pulled this one out. I had never seen this movie before, probably because of its long runtime. It is over three hours. It is a slow-paced movie, but it is a um, great film, of course. It's got Robert De Niro, um, John Savage, Meryl Streep, Christopher Walken. Great performances all around, but a very slow-paced movie. Um, so be prepared for that if you want to see it. Okay, the next movie I watched upon a recommendation from somebody is The Paperboy. I really wanted to like this movie more than I, more than I did. Um, you know, especially with the cast, as you can see here. Um, it was okay. It wasn't nothing spectacular to me. It was a little bit drawn out, in my opinion. But the storyline was pretty good. The acting was okay. Um, but it was not one of my favorites. Okay, the next movie I saw was Bronson. Um, I purchased this one way back when it was first released. It has Tom Hardy in it. It is based on a true story or real life events. So I watched this one. It was it was just another one that I found to be just okay. Um, I think, of course, Tom Hardy did a great job playing this character, um, but um, it just wasn't one of my favorites. Okay, the next film I watched was for a first time watch also, and that is Gretel and Hansel. Um, it was another one that is very atmospheric as far as the setting and the style that it was filmed, the style that it was filmed in. Um, it was, I was expecting more of a horror type story. Um, I did enjoy the performances. The child actor in this one was good, um, but it just didn't live up to what I thought it was going to be. But definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. So those are all of the films that I watched during the month of August. Um, please let me know below if you've seen any of these films and maybe how you would rank them, which is your favorite, what you think about what I watched. And also please leave me a suggestion of what you would like me to watch or what you would suggest that I watched. Um, it really does help me, um, gives me another idea of what I should open up, maybe watch for the first time, or maybe some films that I should revisit. Um, I really do enjoy reading your comments, so definitely leave a comment below. Please also let me know if you like this type of content. Maybe I can do more of this. Maybe I can make this a monthly thing. Maybe improve on the way that I present it. Um, if you like more of these talking videos, I would definitely want to do more of the things that you would like to see. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. I am also on TikTok, which I just um, hit a little over a thousand followers, which is no big deal, but it was a big deal to me because I thought I would be able to start going live on TikTok, but that apparently has not happened yet. So maybe in the future I'll be able to go live on TikTok. Um, so follow me on those social media accounts. If you like to see what I've been watching, of course you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do log all of the films that I watch and I am trying to rate them as I go, but I haven't really been doing any kind of reviews of the films just because there's so many people that do such a better job at that, that that is not my thing. But thanks again for watching the video, and we will see you next time.